Scotland is a very strong brand. I think it probably has a stronger brand than Ireland or even England because we're known for our very friendly people. We're known for the whiskey. We're known for the golf and the beautiful countryside. So we, that, we have that going for us. But there's no doubt it is a very competitive market. Lots of Americans are wanting to travel to uh, Italy. And the diaspora in America, of course, consists of a lot of Irish people. So Ireland is a great competitor of ours. But business is very good. And I have to say that just now, with a relatively weak pound against a strong dollar and a strong euro, our properties are having an absolute record time. And I think next year, which is going to be our 25th anniversary, will be another record year. The internet has brought huge changes to us. It means that people are going to search for a, an offer of some sort. It might be a value added offer or a price reduction offer, which always is difficult. And the other thing which the internet has done, of course, is that it means that people book at the last moment. So in terms of staffing the hotels, that's very difficult. And if we work, for example, with a chauffeur drive company, and in the old days, people would book up weeks in advance, but now they tend to book up on Friday and Saturday. So the company never know how many of their 50 cars are going to be used. So the internet has brought lots of changes to us. Um, Google seemed to change their method of operating every week and they don't tell us until they've done it. So that's another little challenge. But also it's a, a wonderful medium for attracting people instantaneously with new offers and news items. So it's, it's good news and bad news. But there is a lot of competition about. But I think it is probably more difficult at the three and four star level than it is at our rather rarefied five star level. Our hotels are able to put a huge amount of investment into their properties uh, each year. For example, Mr. Trump has spent 200 million pounds at Turnbury. Now, Turnbury is a huge resort, but if you think the hotel has got 100 bedrooms, that's 2 million pounds per bedroom. And it's almost impossible to, to, to work that out. But there he's developed this wonderful resort, golf resort. Um, in Aberdeen, he has another property which he spent a lot of money on. Glen Eagles invests millions of pounds every year just to stay ahead of the market. So it's very competitive, but currently it's a great market. Thank you. Well, we've got one most amazing experience that I must tell you about, and it's about the North Coast 500. So if you go up to Inverness and then you drive up the east coast of Scotland, around the top and down the west coast and back to Inverness, you will have driven 507 miles. So we've put together a little experiential tour for you. And the idea is that you get yourself to Inverness, you're taken to Kinloch Lodge on the Isle of Skye in a chauffeur-driven car. You have a cooking session with Marcelo Tully, who's the Michelin-starred chef. You then have dinner and you go to bed. And after breakfast, the car of your choice is delivered to the hotel. Now you can have a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, whatever car you want. And you then drive yourself to the Torridon where you stay and have dinner and stay overnight. You then drive up to Inver Lodge Hotel, same situation. You have a little side trip to Hander Island, which is a lovely nature reserve with lots of birds, skewers and terns flying about. You then drive round to Dornock, where you stay the night in a lovely little hotel. And it's unique because it is the only hotel in Britain with a distillery in it. And then you drive to Rockpool in Inverness, you have a little trip on uh, Loch Ness. You drive around the corner to Both House, where you have a foraging session with the Michelin-starred chef. You go to bed, get up the next morning, and then, unfortunately, you have to give up the car which you've been driving around Scotland. But that's a North Coast 500. So that's sort of one uh, experiential aspect. Cooking demonstrations and cooking classes are very, very popular, and many of our chefs offer this and this is an interesting thing if you think many years ago the kitchen was always well removed from the house and people were kept away from it because it was smelly and hot and noisy now people want to enjoy the chef's table and actually have dinner in the kitchens which we do a lot uh, we have photographic courses where you'll be taken out and photograph wildlife then you go back to the studio of the photographer you develop the film and then print it and frame it yourself. Uh, we have bicycle tours. 
There's a company we work very closely with called the Carter Company, and they have developed three tours where you're staying at our five-star five hotels, Glen Eagles, Old Course, Kinlock Lodge, and you have a bicycle that's probably worth about four and a half thousand pounds with a sat nav, and you go on, you can either have a gentle tour, and if you want an electric bicycle, you can do that, or if you want something a little more uh, active, then you have a more hilly tour, and these are very, very popular, and we've just created the third bicycle tour in the, in the West Coast. Um, something else that we do, for example, we could take you to Glen Goyne Distillery. Now, everybody's been to a distillery before, and you have a little distillery tour, but what is different then is that we take you into the blender's room, and you will be given 30 or 40 small containers of whiskey, and you will blend your own whiskey. And that is then put in a bottle, and you have your name put on it, and you take it away as a souvenir. So, yes, we work with the tattoo. We work with a lot of other um, stately homes and such like to put together a really round, broad package.